who I am as a human and it just came full circle and it's really hard to say anything but thank you to those people. Uh, One of those people I'm assuming is your mom. I spoke with her a little earlier tonight and she talked about the sacrifices that you made to, to be as good as you are at what you do. What is the power of sacrifice in your opinion? The power of sacrifice is, I mean, it's just really hard to say. I mean, I think it varies from person to person, but just to <laughs> rattle off like a quick list of things that probably don't mean a ton to other people, but you know, they do to me. Like, I've given up birthday parties. I've missed out on family gatherings. I've missed out on like dances and proms and parties with friends. And I've missed out on so many different things that I chose not to go to and like team parties with UW and I've given up like, you know, staying comfortable in Idaho. I really wanted to stay in Idaho, but Andy Powell was in Washington. So I went to Washington and I gave up that life with people and my best friends were there. And I, I lost contact with some of them and it was really sad, but that's just a sacrifice I had to make. And thankfully they're coming back into my life. Shout out Cooper Jackson, Spencer, you guys are my boys. And it's just, it was really hard. And there's so many other sacrifices that I've made and I've missed, you know, years of my little brothers growing up. And that's really painful because those are my boys. <laughs> and they're 10 and eight and, or 11 and eight now. Exactly, you see, like, <laughs> and stuff like that. Like you miss them growing up and you miss them becoming who they are and you see them after four months on the road and you're like, what the heck happened? You're missing a tooth there, you've grown another inch and you're bald like <laughs> someone come back with like buzz heads and like you know my dog too we had to put him down about a month ago and that's my childhood dog and i wasn't there to say goodbye not the way i wanted to at least you know and like that part sucks too there was a lot of sacrifices but and you know coming out of nationals it was like i didn't make it worth it and i got 10th at nationals after being the defending champion so i just had to put my head back down and work and i got this and this made it worth it so that's what sacrifice is. It's the internal power of what you love for something you love <laughs> or something you love that other people are willing to push you to. Thank you, Craig. Good dude. Oh. That's my other best friend, Joe. He's, he's here at UW with me. He just went pro with Adidas. Um, but like, sacrifices will give you people like Joe. Joe is the most selfless, caring individual I've probably ever been graced to meet other than my family and my girlfriend. And like, like Joe just takes care of me. He went pro and he has all these things that he has to do so that he can, you know, make money and survive and live. But if you rewind the tape in that race, right there, right now at the Olympic final, you can see him scoot back and let me go forward. Nobody else is doing that for me. Nobody else wants me to succeed out here Nobody else wants to see, but he does. That's what sacrifice will give you, too. I think uh, eight people set their personal best in this race. I mean, is that, is there more satisfaction? I mean, when you run your PB and yeah. you don't get on the team, I mean, that's gotta be, you gotta take, that, that's gotta mean something, doesn't it? Honestly, when you come into races like these, times don't matter. It's just about moving forward. It's just about getting forward. And it's just about getting your own personal win. And I mean, a PB is really cool. And you know, 332 or whatever it was, like, I mean, I don't know what that is collegiately. I don't know what that is around the world. I don't, I don't know. So for me, it's more just about what could I do in this body and what could I do for the people who have been supporting me? And then that is top Uh, it's fifth, it's fifth. So not a ticket to Paris, but I think this is a lot more valuable than anything else that I could have done. Just because of like, how hard it was to get here and how much I had to put into it. And I mean, I could be looking to nothing, you know, and it's just really cool to be here and to even have qualified for this race. When I, when I spoke with you earlier this year, Nathan, you know, when it comes to a race like this, you talked about racing professionals and mm -hmm. if you didn't bring it, they, they were going to knock you out basically. Yep. What did you prove to yourself on this stage? That, you know, we used to have this saying like two years ago from one of our other great teammates, Brian Fay, an Irishman, who is going to the Olympics, good for him. Um, he used to call it rolling with the heavies and the heavies being the pros. Mm -hmm. And when you're rolling with the heavies, you're either gonna get pushed or you're not. And first time around last year at USA's, I got seventh. I didn't really wanna be there, but my coach told me how important it was and he was right, he always is. And 
that was my first experience with rolling with the heavies and it was difficult you know i got bumped i got shoved i got scrapped but then this year <laughs> running against the pros it was like the mentality i brought forward was like they don't care about me they don't want to see me win they don't want to see me succeed they would rather shove me in front of a bus than watch me get one place ahead of them even if it didn't mean anything to them so that's just what i came into it with was well i don't care about you either because i'm here for me and the people that are behind me and i'm here for joe and my coaches you talked a lot about your your attitude maybe some of your aggression and you ran mad last year yeah. what, what did you learn about yourself this year and, and were you running mad today or free or how would you describe it i was running relaxed i think that was my biggest thing was like that's another like one of the big things that i probably didn't do well mentally this whole year and that's where i was losing battles was i was trying to find this anger right after saying that i wanted to let it go because i just wasn't being honest with who i wanted to be because everyone wants to run angry everyone wants to run hot everyone wants to win the races like that but it's just not it's just not sustainable like i was saying and i lied earlier when i said that i wanted to do it and now i'm telling you like now i was just running relaxed i was running like I had a purpose and the purpose wasn't myself and the purpose was found within my teammates it was found within my family and friends and god and it worked out a lot better than it ever could have running angry and mad but yeah it's just growing pains 